Philadelphia Eagles made a move today. Um, the Eagles traded a fourth round pick in 2021 to the Cleveland Browns to acquire outside linebacker slash defensive end Gennard Avery. Okay, you're getting a low risk, high reward guy. Low risk, high reward guys. Okay, and, and all the people that are going to be shitting on Howie Roseman for this. This isn't the move. Okay, so this is going to be some moves coming. Uh, by the trade deadline, I see one or two other moves coming. I, I kind of see two moves coming, but, you know, we'll see. But Jannard Avery is a standout when it comes to pass rushing, okay? He was drafted in the fifth round in 2018 by the uh, Cleveland Browns from Memphis. And this guy already has a year of football in him. This year he hasn't played because he doesn't fit the scheme. And if you even check, the Browns fans are pretty pissed off over this. Um, really think that he's going to be a monster in Philadelphia, okay? Um, this is just something. I mean, as a linebacker, his coverage was great. As a pass rusher, he he is ahead of the game when it comes to a pass rush. Um, so in a 4-3 scheme, he is going to work out very well, okay? I understand we're very light at defensive tackle today because for this move to happen, the Eagles released Bru uh, defensive tackle Bruce Hector, which he moved up from the practice squad to the active roster Friday. Uh, then they signed up tight end to the practice squad to fill that spot. And then for uh, Bruce Hector leaving, they, signed, uh, they traded um, for um, Avery as well. So... You're getting a lot out of this guy, and all the guys, and all the fans that are talking about High Roseman. If High Roseman can't draft, and we all know this, then why are we shitting on him for making a trade that was literally free? I mean, pretty damn much. I mean, a fourth round pick, not even for next year's draft, but the year after. Okay, there were multiple teams interested in in Avery. To this deadline, there was multiple teams trying to trade for him, and the Eagles ended up getting him. Okay. Um, I was figuring it maybe before this even happened, or when it happened, it was like a fifth round pick or something like that, but they got him for a fourth. Um, it's not steep. I think it's pretty fair, um, especially for, you know, for another two years. Um, and so you have, uh, you have him for another three years and you know what, just, to, he needs to come into the room you need to get to know the scheme. I understand Derek Barnett's here and he just needs to get more bodies on the ground by himself. He needs a little bit more pro pro uh, productivity. He's getting the pressures, but I know you don't really need pressures in this defensive line scheme, of course, you know, but, um, you know, uh, Derek Barnett, I think is playing pretty good. Brandon Graham is actually playing a lot better now. He's, he's starting to get his sacks. He's starting to get, you know, what his money is, you know, guaranteeing him for his playing time. And, you know, Chris Long left before the season started. And, you know, we're, we're relying on young guys like Josh Sweat, um, like Deshaun Hall, like Sharif Miller that we drafted this past year. So you bring in another guy uh, in Avery that already knows how to pass rush. If you want him to play outside linebacker in certain situational football, you know, uh, they could do that too. So, um, you know, I thought this was a great trade. I remember seeing this guy last year, right? like I say, four and a half sacks last year, 40 tackles, I think four to, I think, I think over four tackles for loss. Um, but his pass rush is great. If you remember that preseason game we had against the Browns uh, last year in 2018, he actually had a strip on Nick Foles in that game as well uh, when we played horrible in that preseason game. At the whole entire preseason, pretty much. Nobody can bitch about this. You really can't. You didn't give up a fourth for this year. You gave up a, f a fourth for 2021, which I thought it was a steal trade. And uh, the Eagles have high hopes for him. And uh, if he could develop into something special, then hey, it is what it is. But his pass rush is really good, guys. It's very good. And I know he hasn't played this year, but, you know, he didn't fit the scheme or whatever the hell is going on with that. Um, you know, uh, Avery actually tweeted out today when the trade happened and said, um, Something about uh, underdog mentality. Uh, he knows what Philly's all about. So uh, people are already starting to like him already. Um, I think this is a good deal. I mean, this is not just, if it's not a, a guy that can become a starter, it's a guy that's going to be a very good rotational piece for the Philadelphia Eagles. And, you know, we need more pass rushers because Josh Sweat is very on and off. Deshaun Hall is more often on, and Sharif Miller has disappeared, and we drafted him, what, fourth, fifth round, whatever. Um, so, you know, we need more productivity. Uh, the edge rushers need more productivity, and we haven't been making tackles from these ed edge rushers. I mean, besides Brandon Graham getting a few sacks already. Um, this way, when next, year, when next year comes, you have Malik Jackson back, Fletcher Cox is, you know, at full health and ready to go, and I think he's getting uh, better this year. Um, 
and God knows what other moves they will make, you know, especially who with a draft and, and everything like that. So um, you have a lot of, of um, you have a lot of potential with this guy coming in. Um, so, you know, just give it a chance, guys. You know, I, I think this was a really good trade. I thought it was very fair on both sides. Nobody got robbed. I think the fans, the, the Cleveland Brown, the fans are just, they're very upset over this. They really are. They thought this guy would be a monster. They think he's going to be a monster coming to Philadelphia. And we just need to just, we need to take our shots. Like I said, guys, we need to take risks. And this wasn't really a big risk because you're giving away a fourth round pick in the next two years. So it is what it is, guys. I'm, you know, I'm happy with it. I really am. Because you know what? We need young pass rushers. We need young guys, period. Okay. Um, you know, so we'll see where he fits with this. Uh, you know, he needs to know the scheme and come into this team now, know the scheme and know what's going on. And, and that's really it. That's really it. He's going to come here and he's going to learn the scheme and do what he's got to do. And hopefully he makes some plays this year and shows some upside. I mean, I'm not expecting to do so, him to do something next week or the week after, but Hey, it's going to take him a little bit of time just because it's a brand new team. And it is what it is to get him into, you know, acclimated to what's going on. So I'm happy with this. I really am. I thought it was a really good trade and I'm not trying to hype it up. I'm not trying to say that it's something when it's not, this guy has very high value. He does. He has, he, it's a very high reward having him here, and uh, and the Browns gave him up, so very happy with it. Um, other than that, guys, that's really it, so I will see you guys later. Shake squad up, fly, I'll fly.